What's up, y'all? This is Y Clef Junk, and you're watching Fashion League, loudest artist of all time. You know what I'm saying? Loud. Fashion League, loud. Loudest artist of all time. If I rule the world at number nine, this artist defines the whole underground movement. You know, let's take a look at it as we proceed. I didn't say this, but get your parents out the room because this is a look that your mom and your dad don't want you to have, all right? At number nine, baby, baby, baby. This is the understatedly loud fashion of Robert Smith and The Cure. To me, the person that personified God was Susie Sue. Police. Fashion. And Robert Smith. And those are the two that totally deny that they were gods. But to me, they kind of personified the whole thing, the hair, the clothes, and, and the music. A few seasons ago, I totally used them as inspiration for a collection, and it was fun to go back and listen to all that music again, and it was pretty fantastic. I've grown so used to it that I probably actively encourage people to laugh. It really doesn't bother me that much because a lot of it is, um, a lot of it really is, I think, just, just people being inquisitive. They see something in my eyes, I think. Show me, show me, show me how you do that trick. The one who makes me scream, she said. The one who makes me laugh, she said. To her arms around my neck. Show me how you do it. And I promise you, I promise that I'll run away with you. To understand the look, first you've got to understand the music. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do, I know I'll never really get inside of you. So make your eyes catch by the way they shoot. If I'm sitting there feeling, feeling a bit miserable, then I, then I sort of get it out. I sort of exercise it by writing it down or, or just going and playing the piano. Only I thought i the right one. I couldn't help but see your smile. The dark, brooding nature of the music, combined with lyrics filled with tales of loneliness, discontent, and blatant unhappiness, were emphasized by an uneasy appearance. Robert Smith really kind of became the symbol of the, that whole look from the 80s. I mean, the hairdo. Uh, a little bit of makeup, black jackets. Borrowing a little from the 70s glam scene and the anti-fashion fashion initiated by the Sex Pistols, Robert donned white makeup, smeared the dark red lipstick, and teased out his hair. I don't know why I have why I have big hair. I, like I say, I haven't always. It's just sort of grown, and I like it like that. It's not uh, sort of contrived in the sense that it, it's recognisable as a trademark. And um, I'd have my hair like this if I, if I wasn't in a group. I don't. Uh, sit there and sort of philosophize about my hairstyle. Robert connected with people on a subconscious level and they responded with outrageous fashion. This hat means a lot to me. I'm trying not to give it to Robert Smith himself because through a lot of hard times he's been there for me with his words and I think he deserves it. I, I like scaring little children. <laughs> Same way they used to scare me. Particularly with like the being having clown lips. So many guys, especially when you went to concerts, looked like that. And like if you wanted to look like a rocker, you kind of had that hair. I guess in a way, we all like to dress up like rockers. Other guys try to copy them, but there's only one cure. I became very obsessed with the way, with the way pure fans were, were seeing the group and the way they were seeing me. It, it became really, really boring. It was a bit like and I found that I was reacting against it. The 
image represents, in a way, a kind of uh, um, rejection of a stereotype. The white face and the black hair is just a rejection of that. <laughs> The ghoulishly androgynous look became an underground staple. Inspired by the likes of Bauhaus and shared with acts like Susie and the Banshee, the entire goth scene became a sanctuary for teens who shared the apathetic views on love and life. Groups that were, that meant something to a lot of people weren't really concerned about or thinking about being part of a movement. Wearing their feelings like a suit, only one color fit the style and mood of the music. People always um, moan that we, that we always wear black, you know, but, um, but we don't. People who like us are uh, um, it's sort of more individual anyway, they don't need I don't feel the need to, to follow the group. Robert Smith was quietly proclaimed the Messiah of Melancholy, and an icon was born. It's unfairly weighted towards the, the, the sort of the darker side of things. But if I'm jumping up and down, I don't think, you know, I've got the right happy song. I don't walk about with, with a gloomy face. I mean, I'm, I'm generally very, you know, beaming. <laughs>